good evening to uh, all this uh, all the listeners all the viewers of this uh, video shobai ke janai shubho sandha so i will begin today uh, my speech with swami vivekananda's the uh, words so with some words uh, shai vivekananda ke kichu uh, shobdo kichu bani ni amra ajke ei video ta toiri korchi awakening india the book by swami vivekananda which we are going to read this is section 1 swami ji's message to the youth and we are going to read 1.1 it is the youth who will transform this nation basically we are only the one who can, who are the means is in the next generation so here swami ji is wanting to say that the next generation will only transform the nation will transform the society let us spend so let us uh, hear some the exact words what swami vivekananda had said about this phrase that uh, it is a youth who will transform this nation my faith is in the younger generation the modern generation out of them who will come my workers here my workers means that uh, what what uh, sami ji has told what what are the things that sami ji has preached one day that the next the future generation will do the same thing they will do they will work out the whole problem like lions here uh, the next generation are referred to as the lion mane pore poroborti generation ke singho ba সিংহ মানে কি এখানে শক্তির প্রতীক বলে দেখানো হয়েছে শক্তি বুদ্ধি আর ধৈর্যের প্রতীক বলে দেখানো হয়েছে young men my hope is in you now here samij is not uh, finding that where are the men no men is there but one cannot find finding that that uh, source source of uh, what is I mean swami is uh, trying to say that source of changing the nation transforming the nation that source one man cannot find it and sami ji is saying that where are the men where are that source in that men will you respond to the call of your nation each one of you has a glorious future if you dare believe me have a tremendous faith in yourself like faith i had when i was a child and which i am working out now so sami ji uh, sami ji nijer kajer opore purno bishwas rakhe he uh, believes in every works that he do and he also saying that you also believe that you have a tremendous future and you can also transform the society have that faith each one of you in yourself that eternal power is lodged in every soul and you will receive the whole of india now here to receive the whole of india uh, sami ji is trying to say that that not conquer the whole of the sailor receive means to uh, receive every parts of the uh, country I means suppose as swami ji has done I mean many parts he has gone in some preaching now we are uh, not taking the place of swami vivekananda but we can do something that will change the whole world we can change the means the regular habits now regular habits can be of every individual person that sitting in india or whether in any other parts of the world so that is the main idea away okay. we will then go to every country under the sun and our ideas will be and our ideas will be for long be a component of the many forces that are working 
to make up every nation in the world. We must enter into the life of every race in India and abroad. Shall have to work to bring this about? Now for that, I want a young man. It is the young, the strong, the healthy of sharp intellect that will reach the Lord. Say the Vedas. Now, uh, why are uh, why Swamiji is not uh, telling the the, the in the first generation before the next generation? Why uh, Swamiji is not telling to uh, go to uh, do every work and do that? Why? Because uh, uh, one uh, Bengali word, the Anubha, which is there, that the elders who are there, they will give us the correct words or whatever if we done if we did some mistake or if we going to do some mistake that then they will stop us from doing this but the new ideas means the youths are the youth mainly are the developer of new ideas whatever uh, new uh, the, uh, comes that comes in the minds of youth normally so swamiji is telling uh, swamiji is telling that youth should be given a chance to stand forward and the generation that is previous to the youth should stand backward giving a support to them because if the uh, if the parents if the uh, next uh, means the first generation uh, means the, the generation after the uh, before the youth do not support the youth then we cannot do nothing means from mentally Physically, if anyone wants to do anything, then he can do. But uh, if all things are not good, then something uh, means effect comes in our work. My hope of the future lies in the youth of your character, of character, intelligent, renouncing all for the service of other, and obedient, who can sacrifice their life in working out my ideas and thereby do good to themselves and the country at large. Now, uh, Swamiji uh, believes that uh, if uh, means uh, if we do good to ourselves and if we do good to the whole country, then we are also means getting that good thing. And here Swamiji is saying that uh, the youth should be so determined should, uh, should, uh, should have show the, that goal, idea, that, uh, that if he uses, then the main idea of Swamiji will be get distributed among the world. And that is what Swamiji is wanting. And he is saying that we, I want a youth who can sacrifice their life in working out my ideas. Swami has many ideas. And he wanted to get uh, all to get involved with these ideas, because uh, because he uh, first of all he was a spiritual man and he was very intelligent man, so uh, he has thought of some ideas that that will or that can change the whole world. That he can change the world, and everyone will uh, lead a normal life, normal and uh, ha happy life. Because many of our country, uh, we have the uh, tendency to uh, fool some people or uh, play some pranks with people. That we should, means prank means heavy pranks, not the flank uh, pranks that we made with our friends. Dullness is written on their faces, their hearts, are devoid of energy, their bodies feeble and unfit for work, and minds devoid of courage. So, what are these words that a Swamiji is telling? The for the boys that are not in this group are not following Swamiji's ideals, because uh, if we uh, see, it means from a different way then uh, from the uh, beginning of our life to the end of our life we uh, 
had two three words of Swami Vivekananda, which we follow, and I have a good effort effect also. And if we follow it fully, means all the words of Swami Vivekananda, if we follow, then we can achieve a pure life. And Swami is saying that dullness is written on their face, their hearts are devoid of energy, bodies are feeble and unfit to work, and their minds are devoid of courage. For whom Swami is telling this? For one who do not follow the ideals and uh, philosophies of Swami Vivekananda. What work will be done by this? If I get 10 or 12 boys with faith of Nachiketa, I can turn the thoughts and pursuits of this country into a new channel. So what is Swamiji is telling? Swamiji is telling that do not see the quantity. Yes, quantity is a good thing. If we increase the quantity, it will be very good for us. But Swami is telling to say that, see the quality. If I had 20 uh, such, uh, means, suppose uh, anyone uh, had created a group which is preaching the ideas, uh, ide ideas and ideologies of Swami Vivekananda. That group had uh, minimum uh, 20, uh, 20 boys or 20 heads. So out of that 20, 10 are following the ideas of Swami Vivekananda. They are actually getting involved with these ideas. They are actually following that ideas and then preaching the whole world. And 10 will be there who are not following. Who are not in this means way only. Only for the show they are preaching. So that Swamiji is telling that. This would not be happen. We should choose ex exactly that head, or they are uh, all the all all should not come in this. Means who will come? They will be only focused on the ideas of Swami Vivekananda. For them, Swamiji can turn their thoughts and pursuit for the uh, of this country to into a new channel. Means he will create a new society. He will create a new society. Among those who appear to me to be good caliber, some have bound themselves by matrimony, some have sold themselves for the acquisition of worldly name, fame, or wealth, while some are of feeble body. The rest who form the majority are unable to receive any high ideas. So this is why I, uh, th this is what I was uh, trying to explain you, explain that before, that all the people cannot grab the ideas. All the people cannot grab the ideas of Swami Vivekananda. So we can say that they are illiterate. No, not at all. Not at all. Swami is not saying that all will uh, change. Yes. Everyone can change. And if everyone can change, then the whole world stand in a different stage. But everyone cannot grab that ideas. So Swamiji is telling that those who are grabbing the ideas, take them, make, make their minds so that they can also turn their future generation. And this is how a new a awakened India forms. are no doubt fit to receive my ideas but you are not able to work them out in the practical field. For this reason sometimes any anguish comes into the mind and I think that taking this human body I could not do much work through untowardness of fortune. Of course I have not yet wholly give up hope for but for by the will of God, from among these very boys may arise the time of great heroes of action, spirituality, who will in future work out my ideas. That Swamiji still believes that one day 
one head will come. One head or a group of head. That will work out exactly. Means they will also follow the exact words told by the exact idea and ideologies told by Swami uh, means maintained or told by Swami Vivekananda. And they will preach it also. So today we, ha we have come towards the end of our program and uh, uh, and I am uh, means I'm telling that uh, today from to, uh, today onwards every uh, not every day or one week or two weeks like this way gapping we are going to cover all these ideas and tell uh, the ideologies and the and the ideas and the philosophies of Swami Vivekananda. With this, I end my session today with the chanting of the Vedic the Purna Mantra. Om Purna Madaha Purna Midam Purna Purna Mudachyate Purnasya Purna Madaya Purna Meva Vashishyate Hariyom Tatcha. Thank you. Thank you all for spending some time. To us. <laughs>